Right, I don't watch the news for a very good reason because it, it oh, right, 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 pisses me off. It frustrates me. There's nothing I can do. Nothing. Nothing I can do about the news. And even if they like portray it in a good way or they have a good interviewer and blah, 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 blah. Nothing I can do sat in my room, is there, watching the screen with all that on it. Nothing. So I read it and it still frustrates me. I go, oh, have a quick look through, see what's happening. I do, I always have a look, I always have a look. Like, this telly don't work, thank fuck for that. Because when we're in the other room, not only did she learn all about these things, like all these toys that it wants to know about, Jasmine doesn't want for anything. She's got plenty of shit here, yeah, believe me. But now she wants 80 quid guinea pigs, what, pretend to have babies, and a baby Annabelle, what she's had before, and drew on, and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? For Christmas. Not happy. She'll get them, because she always gets what she wants, usually. But there we go, within reason. But I didn't like her watching the news because she was like, Mum, what's... I'm like, get it off. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Don't, don't want your little mind corrupted with all that shit. Anyway, let's have a little look, shall we? What's on today? Police in Europe take down cocaine super cartel. Heavy police presence after days of China process. Well, I can't think why. Golden... Ew, ew, ew. Is is one that pisses me off. Golden era of UK China relations over, says Sun. I don't even know how you pronounce his name, says our Prime Minister. Good for him. Musk fused with Apple over Twitter advertising. Nigeria hails UK museum returning bedding bronzes, what? Nigeria hails UK museum in returning a bit of bronze. Chinese TV censors. Shots of masterless World Cup fans. Now, this is the one we're going to look at. Migrants with dif dif diphtheria, some form of diphtheria, we'll read about it. Symptoms to be isolated. Well, I can't think why they should be isolated. Fuck's sake. Migrants with symptoms of diphtheria. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not brilliant because I am dyslexic, so do forgive me, but... <coughs> As we put into isolation as cases of the disease rise. Right. Those shown signs of infection will be separated for a short period at the Manston Processing Centre. Processing, isn't that an awful word? Of people. Processing of people in Kent. The only way they can age them is through the teeth. And that's not... I know this, working at Connections, because we used to have to work with asylum seekers, you know. I did. Um, in 2004, there was a lot what came over, given there was a war on and all that. Um, the decision follows the death of a man, which may have been caused by the disease. Home Secretary, no, Health Secretary, not Home, I was going to say, not another Home Secretary. Health Secretary, Steve Barclay, said the risk to the public was very low. Well, he would, wouldn't he? During the visit to Royal Marsden Hospital in London, Mr Barclay says, very, very... There's a very high uptake of, well, we can have vaccinations within the British public. Men, many of people are well protected. Well, we've got to be vaccinated. Another vaccine. Oh, fuck off. They're after me for a booster. They can piss off. Two jabs I had. Yeah, no boosters. Boosters weren't about when I got COVID. Fuck off. Keep getting texts saying, we're after you for one. You can piss off. And, and. You, smear test lady, writing to me all the time. You can piss off as well. During his visit, blah, 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 are well protected. He stressed that the situation was being closely monitored or monitored closely. We'll see. We all know how COVID's 11 cases there was, yeah? Now nah, look at the fucking state of it. Diphtheria is a highly contagious... God damn... Infection that affects the nose, throat and sometimes ulcers on the skin. According to the NHS website, it spread through coughs, sneezes or through close contact with somebody who's infected. And in serious cases, can be fatal. Now, why the fuck are they saying isolation is like a bad thing for them? Just get rid. Just get fucking rid. It can also be spread by sharing items such as cups, cutlery, clothing, bedding with an infected person. I wouldn't want to work there. You'd need to pay me a million pounds to work in a place like that to process people. Oh. 
It's coming it's coming from migrants. It's been confirmed fifty cases were identified on the twenty fifth of November. What date did it say? Twenty eighth, so three days ago. Including among children. The figure stood at thirty nine on November the tenth. Public health experts have raised concerns about the spread of the disease as migrants were moved to hotel oh God. Hotels. The latest report says 38 of the cases are reported southeast. Some of the cases detected across London. Oh, here we go. The West Midlands and the northeast of England. The health body has also advised vaccines, fuck off, antibiotics are offered to people on arrival of their new accommodation. They are. Oh, it's made, you see, you see, I can't read no more. I cannot read no more.